Good morning guys, welcome to another weekend vlog. It's a Saturday, yeah, I keep thinking it's Sunday today. Saturday today, we're heading towards Taihang uh, because today we scheduled for a <gasps> test drive on a new Lexus car. Uh, I saw the adverts on Instagram and Facebook quite a lot, so I clicked on it, took the bait, and we'll see what's up. We got to classify a bit early for brunch or breakfast, so we ordered a Classified breakfast and a sausage and mash with drinks and I'll show you guys in one moment. What's in here? That's a classified breakfast with poach eggs. I thought there was only one. Now there's two eggs. Baked beans, tomato, sausage, bacon and mushroom. Can't see it from the screen. Sausage and mash is here. Coffee and chai latte. Look at that egg. It's been destroyed. <laughs> so we still got time after brunch or breakfast and we wandered into a temple garden sort of bypass to another road in the middle of two roads. So that's an actual temple up here. The whole place is very calm. I feel like I can sit down and just relax. There's like water feature behind you. Hi. How are you? Hi. Also, I thought today was going to be sunny. Yeah, oh, that's a cool shot. Look. All the buildings. That's a cool shot. It is a library, of course it's big. Central Library. I've never been here before. Because I'm never on this side of the island of the country when I was young. We are cultured. I've re registered or re registered my library card. And also took out two books. One for Mandarin, learning Mandarin for this little book and one for fishing for this little book. So we walked back uh, and forth and ended up at Heisen, Heisen Place again where we had uh, Coco Curry last time. Not sure we vlogged about it, but we were pretty much the last customer to go in after the movie. And uh, so this is what we're gonna have for dinner. We're gonna have pepper lunch and triple O. We ordered the Impossible Burger, which is a plant-based vegetarian burger that a vegan yeah plant-based vegan burger that tastes and looks like meat and cooks like meat so we're gonna try that only available I think in Hong Kong only no, I available somewhere else I had this. really yeah I can't remember where I saw on Instagram that they were advertising triple O why are you targeting me man I don't know <laughs> the impossible burger is here it does look like me. It looks like a patty. It looks like a burger. I don't know what to expect. Fries are decent. Mm. Looks like it. It's here. Mix it. Mm. 
so much pain. Mega, so it's double the. Maria just took in, and just Chari just taken first bite. Looking very confused. Any? Does it taste like meat? The texture is like meat. It's a little sweeter than meat, mm -hmm. but like maybe like meat with sugar or something. Meat with sugar, but caramelized. Good. Am I oh, vegan? She... <laughs> oh, she. You're vegan. Like I can't like. If I if I buy you two burgers side by side and tell oh, you, tell. okay. <laughs> Smells like me. Kinda. <laughs> Maybe it's just a burger. <laughs> Maybe. Then it's his turn. Sorry. <laughs> I like the pickle. I know. Why is so? Okay. Betrayal going on. I don't think I can tell the difference. Can I see inside? Mm. I'll be happily fed if being fed this every day. Before that, I went to Paul Lafayette to claim my birthday gift from Smart Tone. Thank you very much. From our yes. mobile service. Yep, from our mobile service. And what's inside the two boxes? Mi mini creme brulee. Yes, open it and have a look. Cute, it says happy birthday. <laughs> That's cool. Thanks. Greeting from Best Smart Tone. Consumed within 45 minutes. Oh, that's cool. Okay. We're gonna wait till home. Yeah. This doesn't take 45 minutes. It just takes 40 minutes. Bye. So I just got home. Here's our creme brulee. However, because we didn't follow the instructions, our brulee, our brulee has become a brulette. <laughs> It's not crispy anymore. That's okay. I think it still tastes good. Mm, yeah. Good morning. Welcome to the Sunday. We at a Cha Chan Tang next to in Kennedy Town, next to Price Right. Today's objective is to find and purchase a folding table because Charles' parents coming and we don't really have a space to eat. My meal is here. There's something about soup macaroni that I really like, and also the Hong Kong milk tea that you cannot find. And I'm still missing my egg and my crispy bun. And you're missing everything. Mm, stir fry beef noodle, smelling very good. Gao wok hei, you know? Cooked with a uh, whole holic. So the holic is a malt drink. Yeah. And you like. I don't know, it just tastes like milk. Sweet milk. This is Canada number one at $189. Folding table that's fold bar flat. That's the height. This is our second contender. It's a plastic lightweight 239 foldable table in green. I'm not feeling the green, but it's very light. I can sort of like lift this in one hand, which is handy. We'll see how that goes. Our third contender, a 299 foldable table, wooden, kind of heavy. It's kind of like the mix of this 
And that green one over there. It's got like locking mechanism. Yeah, you have to unscrew it to store it away, which is not cool. Yes, just in time after uh, 10 laps to go. I think it's like 58 laps once again. Yes. 2018? 2019, right? <laughs> Fastest lap, and it came first. Yeah, that's they have headsets. Call it a night. Uh, getting ready for work tomorrow. Actually, gonna go to sleep very soon. It's only 11, but I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, fun for your weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.